We're live, David. We're live. Yeah. Good afternoon. But wait a second. We're not in New York City. I'm just letting you know. These girls are not in New York. One is in Austin, Texas. I had to get it in. And the other is in Korea, of all places. Not North. There, She's in the good Korea, the South. Okay. Okay. Well, well, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning to everybody. Um, I'd just like to start the show on, we've been quite reflective today uh, through, you know, the events of the Halloween weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just uh, hopes and 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 prayers. Rachel's playing, and, just, and, wait, wait, wait. Rachel's playing with her camera off screen. It's hysterical to watch. And I'm going to let you go back to the serious thing, but just why I, I should put that on and then yeah. just let it's just like she's doing this, fanning it. Rachel, it doesn't work if you fan it. I'm just letting you know. But anyway, Dave, please go ahead. Yeah, so just <laughs> yeah, uh, just that our, our thoughts and prayers go out to everybody in Korea. Yes. Uh, to to today after such an eventful weekend. Um, but yeah, the, as with everything, the show goes on, the party goes on. And as I understand, there's going to be a bit of a K-pop party today. Yes. Um, you, everybody following remembers on... her. Yes. <laughs> yes. I... She's not fanning her screen. This is what she was doing before. This was awesome. She's like, look. No, I, I was using a wipey to clean my <laughs> Okay. I, I made okay. <laughs> okay. You know, this is what happens. They start drinking early and they don't know what they're doing. I'm just saying. See, yeah. that's my case. There you so. go. <laughs> now, there, there, there'll, there'll be something healthy, yeah, Stephen. Which uh, probably even, even more healthy than something that's been stuck in a vat for the last twenty years. But there you excuse go. Excuse me. Excuse me. I have some nice um some Toro whiskey that's twenty five years old that after this show I'll be scotching and or whisking and cigaring. So we should do a show on that one day. I have to say, Are my you... HBC is a little weak today. I need it stronger. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, yeah. Come by. We'll pour some whiskey in it. You'll be fine or some scotch. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is this is Rachel in disguise today. This is her, um, Rachel Parker back with us again. Uh, also, great to have you on the, uh, on the show. But this is a follow-on, really, from the K-pop uh, madness that we had uh, last time that we spoke to you. And I think you've brought a fellow uh, victim of crime with you today to join us. There's Miss Vicky. Or, or wait, they have these. They have these. They have these special names. They have these yeah. special names. So Explain you'll have to tell it. us what the names. Yeah. Are. And because wait, before you guys do, Vicky or Victoria, depending on if you know her parents or not, um, is in Korea. Like I said, she's in the good Korea, the South Korea, not with Missile Boy in the North. However, she's in a Airbnb, and behind her, I don't know if you can see this, but she's got a shrine to the K-pop people. Like, this is like, this is not, I'm not saying she's obsessed, but like. Some of them are going to be mine. She's giving some to me. (laughs) That doesn't help your case. That does not help your case either. This is like stalker (laughs) stuff. Like, I'm surprised the South Korean police aren't like busting in the Why do you think they're called K-pop stands? Oh, now I got it. Remember, I was explaining that before. They're like stalker fans, but you're not really a stalker because the K-pop, you know, industry puts this out here for us. (laughs) Sure. But so you have to buy your own altar and then uh, you know pray to the K-pop gods. Is that how it works, or I mean, a bit like Catholicism, but with music or better right, music. Exactly. And it's there's like no trading problem. cards. Yeah. Wait, but does oh. your does does you your leader trading? have a funny get... hat and cute shoes? Because that's what the Catholicism guy does. He's got a beautiful place I hear in Italy. It's very nice. There's a picture yeah. of me on the wall. If you go, um, you'll think have about you seen that the, later. Have you seen their playing cards, Stephen? It's even better. Oh, I know. I mean. Thank you, yeah. David. See, for breaking up the whole, because there's a lot of really sad people in in Korea right now in South well, Korea. Well, I'm as a as a lot of sad people in Holland, and you're looking at one today. But there you go. <laughs> no, she's talking about because of the death of the Halloween. Correct. Oh, okay, right. Korea. Yeah. So I was I was freaking out because my friends are there right now, yep. and I'm like, um, I know they went out for Halloween, but I saw their ID <laughs> stories. I'm like. They're not an HPT yeah. one. They're okay. Can we, can we just touch on that then, ladies? Because sure. you know, why Why was it, uh, according to reports, of, I was just hearing it via the BBC, there was a lot of young women uh, that, uh, you know, that were, uh, got killed in, in this in this crush. Uh, why Why is it then that the Halloween is such a big event? That's the thing that I just couldn't get my head around. Well, each one why women died or why it's a big event? Which one do you well, want? Well, right? a, a bit, a bit of both, really, yeah. because um. So Itaewon is a very foreign, um, dominated city. I guess you could say it's where I think the military base is, the U.S. military base. Okay. And so you know, Halloween is a very American, um, holiday. So of course, if you're going to go celebrate Halloween, because it, it actually wasn't celebrated in Korea for I, I don't know. 
I think it's like very new with a lot of more foreigners moving to um, Korea or visiting. So it became like, hey, Halloween's cool. So a lot of Korean people are like, we want to do this too. So, oh no. <laughs> so I, I mean, that's my understanding of how popular it became and why people like to go celebrate. Just, you know, a good time. Just get dressed up, have fun. But I think E-Town is made up of a lot of uh, narrow alleys that are on hills. Correct. And because I haven't been there since I was young, so I don't really remember it. But the uh, reason why a lot of women um, have um, were affected and deceased is because we're smaller. So it was a like slow crush um, in your your lung capacity. Um, ours is just smaller. So um, sorry, I'm gonna like cry because it makes me really sad to think about. All right, then we'll go to this. We'll go to a bigger picture. So it, it's no one, been no it's been that. like just overwhelming for my uh, a lot of people yeah well, I, d I didn't want to bring a bummer into the show today no. but i mean no but you it's, it's, well thanks it. for slow thanks for slowing us up that was <laughs> no, no, so. it's, very <laughs> it's just that i do that yeah. i do you know your ladies are just there into that but i mean well, if you want to add anything because i don't know yeah i mean i just i just wanted to you know i didn't I didn't want to bring a bummer into the room either, but it's, you know, it's kind of callous to ignore sort of what this whole nation is actually in mourning until Sunday. Um, all the official uh, events have been canceled and things. So I just thought it was something that we should at least, you know, acknowledge and bring up. And, and one of the reasons why it was so big this year is because it's the first time in three years since they lifted the COVID restrictions. So, oh, okay. so that, was, that, that added to it as well. That fueled the fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they were in their you know twenties and they hadn't been able to go out for Halloween or any kind of celebration, and so there was just more people there, and that was also contributing to it. So, yeah. But, so yeah. But, but it was funny because when that when it actually happened, I found because of the FT right, so I get the news alerts. So it said that 153 people had passed away in Korea, and I'm like, from what? And then I read the whole story, and then they showed the video of the street and how narrow it was, and I guess how, I was like, that's just crazy. And having been to Korea, yeah, so yep. yeah. But yeah. I think which here's what's and this is sad. This is the commentary on our society today. I don't think back in the day this would have happened. I think people are so into me, 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 and not like worried about other people. Like you don't read if you go back into like the 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s, and I mean like the 1900s, not the 1300s when David and I were born. Um, you don't read a lot of stories about people getting crushed and killed. I mean, like you know, people were more civil. That's not true, Stephen, because really? if you go back and look, there were a lot of um, where we got a lot of our fire um, laws from now. Well, that was Chicago from the 1800s. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people but, got trapped in doorways and things right. like that. Escape, but that, so. I think that's a little that's a little different. I mean, like this is outside, outside. You know but what I mean? It's still so. that mentality. It's still that monster of like everyone yeah. trying to. Well, also, I think from what I've heard yeah. from people who were. Um, talking about it, their experience being there, the people in the back had no idea what was going on in the going front. In the front. Because right. it was just, and you, people were in the front screaming, but that you can't hear them with the music, with right. the crowd, you just, they just had no idea. Well, and they so, just had that happen in a football stadium in uh, somewhere in Asia, where, you know, they- like Yeah, in Indonesia. Got Indonesia. Indonesia yeah. got trampled to death. And it's just yeah. sort of like, come on people. I mean, like- Well, it, it, it happened, it, I, I was, uh, you know, I, been caught up in a, in a in a sort of a crowd crush in the in the 1970s and no, early 1980s in the UK really before they changed all the football laws uh, for for the stadiums and using the stadiums because it used to be that you could go anywhere in the stadium but the home team and the away team bought tickets for the respective ends that they were in but you could walk in those days all the way around the stadium so that's what encouraged violence and uh, because it was easy to get to the other to the other party, et cetera, et cetera. But it, I could still remember that there would be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of football supporters getting off trains and literally this this mob pushing its way through town centres and towards the football uh, the football grounds. And of course, when everybody came out when the game was over, again, very little police control in those days. The stadiums were 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 pretty dangerous places, and, and you know, before you knew it, you were caught up. You know, you could be in anybody's uh, crowd, yeah, your own supporters or the opponents. I stand corrected. So that's, people are just as disgusting as they were 50 years ago. Just take them out back like horses and shoot them. That's my and we one start fear. over. When I go to concerts and stuff, because I'm 5'1". 
And I will wear my Stop biggest. Stop it. I met, you, I, met you, I met you in person. You're lucky if there's a five in front of any number. All right. She's, 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 I am five <laughs> On her tippy toes, she stands like this. She goes, I'm five one, everybody. But I, will, I will wear my biggest shoes. And I won't always try to get into the middle of the crowd at concerts that are standing room because I have a fear of being crushed. Yeah, seriously. And pl um, platform shoes do not help. Huh? No, that's true. Yeah. Do they have goldfish in them? Like the ones in the seventies that the pimps used to wear, where you put goldfish in them and stuff. They don't have that. I'm just yeah. saying. You've never I'm, seen I'm, those? Goldfish. The platform shoe and go She's never, David. Do you remember the platform shoes? I remember and the platform shoes. I remember platform shoes. I remember wearing platform. That just sounds shoes. so cruel. I'm oh my god! <laughs> I was a kid and in the seventies, and, and they had those. They were so <laughs> dangerous, so dangerous. How I never broke my ankle if it would. With wearing platform shoes, I, I, uh, I never had the privilege or I guess well, pleasure. I to had wear on them. my big combat boots, and um, at the footage that I sent you guys yep. of the Has last concert I was at, I'm far. I'm at like the way back on purpose because I was right. like, this is this. They were nobody was making room for anyone to get. I'm, like, I'm not gonna fight this crowd. I'm not gonna try to get closer. I'm standing far back where I can see everything and. Um, be safe. <laughs> so. It's like it's like they say you can't yell movie in a crowded firehouse. So I totally get that. So yeah. think about it. So so let's so, go back. Go ahead. Just to say yeah, because you just touched upon uh, upon the upon the concerts, which is what what we were going to talk about today anyway. Correct. Uh, this religion disease or <laughs> whatever, whatever it is called called K-pop. But you know. So but, these uh, these the, girls are in their late twenties, early thirties. Don't correct me. And um, I'm and not so. Dang, I love Vic, Vic, Vicky's like, love you. You on you, the little Asian girl. Don't say a word. Um, so so these yeah, so she's like I'm my new best friend. So <laughs> you guys, you guys are into K-pop. Now I know you know, Rachel, you've been into it since you're like an embryo. We got that from high school. Well, I got and out then, of it though. Right. And then you came back, but you were still into it though. So like you've been into it, we'll say for a while. It was a different piece. a different era. Okay. It was different. K pop gotcha. is not what it was back then. Okay, oh. but is that, the, wait. is that nostalgia kicking in there then? <laughs> is, wait, wait, let's go into Victoria. So, Victoria, when did you get in it or did Rachel get you into it? I got Rachel back into it actually. Oh, really? Oh, Look at this. <laughs> wow, and you call it, listen, what kind of Korean I'm are you? Every day. Yeah, so. yeah it's just, uh, and you're American for Vicky, is that right? Yes, yes. Okay, for the and show, in, she's American, so we're good. Okay, so. okay. <laughs> Let's keep it all balanced. Yes, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, fine by me. You know, I, like, I, I, I like Americans. I like America. You know, we always used, we say at home in England, in, in England, if America was any good, we'd have kept it. But anyway, yes. um, uh, outside of that. So, but you, you're living in Korea. No, she's I'm, visiting. Oh, you're visiting in Korea. Yes. Right. Okay, you have to take your you have to take your your the the altar of K-pop with you when you go visiting, or no? I've got the stuff when I was here. Wow, that's how you're gonna get that home? Are you like shipping that like DHL or something, or you just brought another suitcase? Yeah. Other, <laughs> an extra suitcase. So when you go through customs, you say, "What? Well, this is my clothing, and this is my K-pop." Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Do you have to have a doctor's? Do you have to have a doctor's certificate for that? Because it's a disease. It's um, shop, it's medicine. Shop, shopaholics. It's, it's medicine. Yeah. It's actually medicine. Medicine, medicine, for, wait, medicine how, for your soul. How much of that? Now, Rachel said some of that is for her. So, how much of that is for you, and how, how much, much of that is for us? Rachel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I'm sure our gift is going to be great. So. Okay, because the K-pop albums that I bought, mm -hmm. because inter international shipping after COVID was ridiculous. I would right. pay four times what I paid for the album just to get it shipped. Okay. So I was like, I'm are, not, these, are these vinyl? Are these vinyl? Twelve? The old-fashioned vinyls? You still buy albums? Yeah. Although they do have CDs, they're they're okay. back again. They're on CDs. Okay. I take it. Yeah, but they but they are releasing vinyl yeah. now too. Well, okay, you don't you don't have Spotify where you live then, so you can't just download it. <laughs> it's no, America, David. We don't have that, so we don't even have indoor plumbing in Austin. Just yeah. so you know, he, next week they download they're everything, but you also buy the albums. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, we're, I mean, look, we used to buy the albums in the nineteen seventies, but it was only because it was the best place to roll the joint on. But anyway, outside. Anyway, wait, wait. So wait, why do you do that? 
we buy the album and we don't use the CD. Why? We listen to it digitally. But why? Because it comes with, and here's what uh -oh. they get. Here's where uh -oh. the U.S. companies don't capitalize on this and don't sell the albums is because right. it comes with all these things, photo cards, um, posters, uh, photo uh -oh. books, all this kind of stuff that you get with it. And that's what everybody collects. Can, and that's can you show get. us some of that? Because I've, I mean, I'm interested to see how a poster can get into a, the size of a CD. Can you open it or can't be opened because you don't have to wait until you get here? Yeah, we don't want you to open it if, if you can't open it. Especially if it's Rachel's, because she may get a little upset. Yeah. Because, you know. well, I, I will get like one or two, because I'm not a big um, poster person. Okay. I, yeah, I don't. I, I, I thought you were going to say you're not a big K pop fan, in which case we yeah. just, we just might close your show now. now. I just got back into it. So. Wait, I have a question, though. So, I mean, in your apartments or homes or wherever you dwell, do you have like posters framed on your wall or like when we were kids we would hang posters on our wall do you guys do that or do you guys frame it or do you keep it in like a scrapbook or how do you guys do that yes yes to what have, you well, yes, to all, them, yes to all of that but i don't have them up i had one up and then i took uh -huh. it down because yeah, you were like i know that i know that feeling <laughs> i just don't like I'm, I'm like a minimalist i guess i don't like things on my wall Okay. I don't like paintings. Uh, I don't like anything on my walls. Wow. Okay. Well, I like to look be... like a, like a just white walls. Yeah. You're that's, called gonna be... that's called a sanitarium. Yes. So, exactly. so, so you're Victoria, obviously, obviously yeah, going wait. to be one of our one of our great customers going forward. I can see that. Yes, I can see that. So now, Victoria, you do you have posters or whatever framed on your wall of that of this? I, I do in my office. Okay. I have K-pop stuff, so it's not in the rest of my house, but in my okay. office where I work from, it's. Huh. Up, it's framed on the wall, and I have like a bookcase full of my light sticks and my CDs and all of my merch and stuff. No, I'm going to ask the elephant in the room question then. Why there's an elephant in the room? Because it's in the apartment. I don't know where it is. <laughs> the elephant in the apartment is why is it only in your office and not in the rest of your house? Um, just because that's kind of like my private space. And I share the house with my brother, so it's not his thing. So I'm not going to, like, put that in his space, too, I guess. Okay. So at least it's oh. not shared. It's mine. It's wait, in there. But he, wait, we have a K-pop, too, though. We'll, we'll yes, he does like K-pop. Okay, so yeah, but... Victoria, now that we have a camera just on you. Oh, okay. so it's, I know, it's gonna be because well we figured we embarrassed Rachel we can embarrass you um so can you tell us like what do you what's the everything like what do you have and who this, these guys yes, are and whatnot? Yes, yes. Please, yes 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 we'd please. love to see that okay. yes so this is one I just bought this week um okay. and when I went there and bought it you got a, a coin for a machine okay you put the coin in the machine it's called lucky draw and then I right. you get a special photo card so wow that you only get from the machine, so it doesn't actually come in the album. Wow, I, that looks like my picture, like twenty years ago. No, really. yeah, if I was, if I was Asian, yeah, there you go. If I had hair, and I was Asian, and all that. So, and um, you get the album here, and then inside you have like the CD in the back. Oh, here. very pristine. Stay there because I don't even have anything to play it on. So. Okay. <laughs> And then inside, there's a bunch of things that come with it. Oh, so okay. It's for some reason now, so I keep going to the wrong side. So there's another photo card. These are what everyone really collects and put in, puts in um, scrapbooks. And they're different okay. photo cards. They're Thank different you. for every album. So you, whatever one you get. So that's oh, why people oh. buy multiple albums, because they get different okay. ones. Okay. Uh, so, um, and I'm taking it that you both then only get negatives. Negatives are good too when you want to stock and reprint them. <laughs> sure, for your friends. This That's is really new. I haven't seen the negative in another. Okay. I don't know. I'm glad we're educating you. A ticket thing that about the album and it has like a okay. little plane ticket to you know. Nice. And then so stickers. More st oh, you got to have stickers. You got to put them on your book and your lunchbox. Sure. <laughs> poster. Oh, there you go. Sure. Too bad he's not wearing pants. So in the book itself, and this is just a solo guy. This isn't a group, okay. so it's even okay. smaller. For groups, there's more stuff. And then there's just photos and oh. lyrics and writing gotcha. credits and more photos. And sometimes right. they write little letters, I think. In there. To you personally oh, yeah. or just the fans? 
I mean, to the fans. <laughs> okay, I just I didn't know they were like, dear Rachel and Victoria, thank you for buying our stuff. And here's the thing. About you. Yes. They K-pop fans, groups, solo artists, they do a lot of fan meetings. They call them okay. fan meets. So you okay. take your album, your photo book, they will, you know, they'll sign it, they'll write personally and give you high fives and hugs and talk to you. Okay. Yeah, the big thing in the US is that you have access to the artist really in K-pop. So right. sometimes they will Zoom call you, you can go to a fan meeting, you can get stuff autographed and signed. Like I hey, followed them for years and never even met any of them. So so, so wait a second. So you they, you're you're how do you get a K-pop celeb star then to Zoom call you? Is do you are you in a drawing or because you're in the club or because you're a stalker and the, the judge says listen call her so they won't stalk you anymore? But how it's, does that so how does yeah. that work? I guess you probably would get one if you were <laughs> in court you probably get one for free there you go yeah usually it's a lottery based on how many albums you buy and things like that so and sometimes gotcha. i know with the one um one album i did actually buy or no i bought two now um i think you in the album if you're lucky you get a card and that card okay. allowed you to get a zoom call or video call oh very cool. people were buying multiple of it they're like hoping to get that card and i was like i'm not gonna spend my fortune <laughs> i don't have money right now for all that she's like i'm making kimchi i am not gonna be spending my kimchi money on a card so now let me ask you if you guys got the lucky the golden ticket i feel like this is willy wonka and the chocolate factory now all of a sudden so if you got the golden ticket and you're one of the five people would you guys want the Zoom call with the K-pop thing? Would that be like the like, oh my God, that's better than I don't know Christmas or what Hanukkah, depending on your religion, or Kwanzaa or the other forty-two holidays that are coming up? Um, would that be cool for you, or is it sort of like you're at an age where it's like it's cool, but it's not that cool? No, it'd be cool okay. for me. I was like, I don't know what I would say, but like, I'm hey nervous. nephew, yeah. hey niece, <laughs> good job. <Right. laughs> You're and, new and, to the job. <laughs> and and how long do these Zoom calls last? I'm assuming like five minutes, ten minutes, or oh, are they yeah. like is it? They're like a minute. They're like a minute. Oh, yeah. oh, like hi, how are you? Thanks for buying my album. Buy yeah. more. Goodbye. Like, a lot of people yeah. like to um, use that time to make their the artist do something, like say something or do. Yeah. Something. Oh, okay. But, you know, and like, thank you, thank you, thank you for your money. Thank you for your money. Right. Thank you. No, thank you for your money. Like, thank you. There, there's this thing in Korea called Egyo, okay. where you act you. cute. Right. And they love to make their K-pop artists act cute. Okay. And it's super annoying to me. <laughs> ask Ask Stephen to do Egyo. Stephen, can you do some Egyo where you act Are a you little kidding? cute? Yeah, have you yeah. Have you met me? So. <laughs> this is what you do, like. Oh. Right. <laughs> oh, they go like this, like. Oh. Yeah. No. Don't there you go. Don't you. Oh my God, Stephen, that looks so scary. Halloween can is fast. You're from you're I'm from practicing. New York. You you from New York. You can't do that shit. All right. So in New York, in New York, it'll be more like this. Yeah, I look really cute. There you go. And you didn't have to buy an album or listen to me sing because trust me, if you heard me sing, you guys would be going like this anyway. Well, if I could, if I could be part of the golden draw now, I mean, I hope I win, so I never have to speak to Stephen again. But that's enough. <laughs> So I like it. So I get it. So they do a minute, they do the fake cry, they say, like, we love you, and they record it. There you go. Oh, Stephen, we love you so yeah. much. I know yeah. that, David. Everybody loves me. What's not to love? Fans will take that time just to tell them how their music has affected their lives. A lot of, okay. I mean, hear a lot of stories where people are like having depression. And I, and I, would, and I would take the time to thank them for their money, obviously. I'm sorry. <laughs> he wants to thank them for their money. If he's the musician, he'd be like, thank you for your money. Yeah. <laughs> That's so why now, David has to get calls because no one wants to. <laughs> so now that I've done, I've done the boo boo. Hey, you know, everybody's going to be wanting me to do that now. So yeah, there's a link down below. Yeah, yeah. I'm, my so, agent. I'm sorry, yeah, Stephen. Okay. See, I can never, I can never do this. I always screw this up. So I can it never looks, do the heart. It looks thing. like two. It looks you like two dog faces. Yeah, that's too bad. I have no heart apparently. That's why. So Vicky had to tutor me on the finger hearts. I kept doing it really bad. Vicky, when you come, when you you come back when you come back to the states the three of us will get together they, and they we'll spend the whole her. day trying to figure it out and then we'll come back on and i'll do the whole they won't the let whole her thing. in Stephen, because uh, you know, she just have too many bags to get through customs i was just gonna say with all the k-pop <laughs> so now have you gone to a concert since you're in korea or did you go to, what first of all what did you go to korea for yeah and once again she's a, in the good korea wait, not to see missile boy wait so what did you answer how you got into k-pop originally 
I don't remember. <laughs> well, let's go back to that. How'd you get into K-pop? No one cares. <laughs> we do. I actually, we do care. But we were, yeah. Well, that's we went the whole off on idea, a tangent. It's the whole <laughs> idea of the show, actually, Vicky. But, that's right. But, so, but, so I was into J-pop first. I was really into anime and that kind of stuff. Um, okay. And for Japanese stuff first. Sure. When I was in school and college. And um, a lot of K-pop artists do do soundtracks for anime and there's okay. kind of a crossover between Japanese and Korean artists. And so I was actually a fan of a couple of Korean artists that I didn't even know were Korean <laughs> at first. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just sort of, when the Hallyu wave kind of started and we started to get more content, we started to get more music and more TV shows and movies and stuff like that. Um, I had friends that had traveled there. I had friends like Rachel and I just kind of like, I mean, Rachel, it wasn't Rachel, but I had friends like Rachel. So that People sense. like me? Wow, that, that sounds mean? really bad <laughs> on many levels, but keep going. It sounds like a friend speaking to me. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's and like. So kind of transitioned into it. And um, I kind of got caught up in the whole, not caught up, but I was really, um, I really liked the whole idea of of being part of this big sort of community and being like um, in a, this sort of fan club culture and sort of um, the access that you have to those groups is pretty unprecedented. There's a lot of um, behind the scenes videos and shows and like reality TV associated with them. And then all this that sort of merch you get in the concerts and a lot of this stuff is online, so we have more access to it now, so it's easier to get. So I've watched a lot of concerts just virtually online, you know, paying for a, a digital ticket and watching and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, and I just I've met just the most amazing people through it, and it just makes me feel really great. And I just have a blast doing it. So why not? Like, it's cheaper than alcohol and crack, and <laughs> it's much. Well, better. if you know where to go get your crack, no, but okay. <laughs> so, but, I'm just, but that's so that's very cool. <laughs> you get it for free. So, so because of that, and then you got in, so Rachel was into it when she was in high school and, you know, and then you get into it and then you go to your friend, Rachel, I'm into K-pop. And then that got Rachel back into it. Is that how that all started? Kind of? Rach, I think it was kind of like that. Well, okay. she, it, it took some time. She was sending me video clips because, okay. you know, I, I, I like to cook and create, just, there's a K-pop. Oh, that's place. right who likes to cook and has a YouTube channel with cooking, she would send me these clips to try to get me interested. And I was like, right. okay, okay. <laughs> so, but That's it really cool. happened um, during pandemic uh, quarantine. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'll watch this like reality show with you. And I think I mentioned this last time. I was like, I got drawn in by their personalities, right. by their whole dynamic. And I was like, this is hilarious. And you know, at a time that we needed laughter, and, and so I was like, okay, now I want to hear their music and see what their music's about. And then I heard their music. I was like, okay, I really like their music. Because for a long time, I was like, I don't know if I'm, I'm not into the whole K-pop sound. It's catchy, but I like different, I don't know. It just wasn't my thing for a long time. And then I was like, oh, it is my thing. It turns out I do like it. And so, so now you're, now you're addicted. And now you've so literally bad. sent your friend to Korea but making her smuggle like, millions of dollars. So only certain things. Well, right, so we're going to discuss Vicky, was, your, was, your, was, your, was that your, your names. Was that your holiday of choice then to go to Korea or is it for work? Or? Yeah, this is my second time. I've been here before, but I just, I don't, I'm not just like a, into K-pop. I really have studied the culture and I've mm. you know, been trying to learn the language. Um, Vicky tried food there that even I wouldn't eat. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yeah, so it's um, it's more than just a K-pop vacation for me. So um, this is, you know, I would live here full time if I could get a visa to live here full time. So you, you um, know, they take American Express there. So either way, you could do both. I'm just saying. This is the great thing about K-pop. Like, um, it has really helped people become aware of current Korean culture. K-pop draws mm -hmm. them in a lot of the times, um, the younger generation. And then they right. find out about the culture and there's great parts to it. There's parts where you're just like, mm, I don't know if that's for me, but you really appreciate the culture. And so people are going there to mm -hmm. vacation, to learn more and right. it's helped Korea in, in many well, ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I've been to Greece several I've, times, and and I and I and I, it's a beautiful country, and people are very warm and wonderful. So I, yeah, I, I was going, I was going to ask that, Vicky, how how do people react to you, uh, uh, you know, getting all the, all buying all the merch and everything, and being immersed in the K-pop uh, in Korea? Um, who, David? Americans or Koreans or no, no, Koreans. When you're there, because yeah, obviously when you're in Korea. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I. No one's really said anything to me. I think it's just. Um... Didn't you make a, a, a ID friend though recently? Yeah, I have met people here through K-pop, but ironically, they weren't Korean. <laughs> <laughs> They're all you know, American. Like the guy from the um, Hanbin's party, the cafe. Yeah, from, one was from Japan, and one was from Vietnam. Oh, and that's then, cool. Yeah, uh, I did meet one kid. No, I did meet that other kid. That one boy who was um, really into. He was wrote that song for Hanbin. You're right, you're right. The fan, the really, fan boy. I have met um, are first of all amazed that I can say anything in Korean. Um, but second of all, they just kind of um, I think that's they like sharing that part of their culture with people. And so when they see people that um, are here participating in that, um, I think that they really do like it. They get excited about it. They, you know, are, are um, happy to share and um i haven't had any negative reactions or anything like that from i think they're very excited about it. but i mean it's just not in k-pop it's with everything with food with music with whatever i ended up doing you know um i, I go thrift shopping a lot and buy a lot of vintage clothes and you know i've met really nice people there that just want to talk about you know hey i have a friend in california you know we bought this here and we'll talk about clothes it's just um it's just one more thing to bond over with people here. So it's just one aspect of it, but it's it's a big one. So and not every make... Korean is a K-pop fan. There's yes, no... my Airbnb well. host like, <laughs> walked in and saw this. He's like, who's this? <laughs> He's very <laughs> much like, who the hell's this? And I'm like, oh, it's from this group. He's like, I don't listen to K-pop. I'm like, why'd you ask me then? <laughs> so, okay, but... so now, so it's just like everybody's not a fan of whatever. So granted, that's okay. We, do we still like Korea? So now your name, so we're going to go, let's start with Vicky. Vicky, you have this name below there, which I know is some of these groups. And then we're going to go over to Rachel's and this will be fun. David and I keep the same names because we barely can remember those. So <laughs> so who are all of these these names here? Who are these groups or people that we have there on yours? Go ahead, Rachel. Oh, you're going to you Rachel first? Okay, Rachel. You. Yeah, you go first. Yeah, you go first. You got me into this these groups. Yeah. So, so tell us, tell us who are all the Monaco D I D wee wee boo boo boo. I think you're <laughs> speaking French. So. Okay. This will be hard to understand, but um, Mon is for Monster X. Okay. Monic is for Icon, and ID and we are two members of each of those groups that have left those groups and are now solo artists. That's okay. the name. Fandom, so it's my four fandoms, pretty much. Gotcha. And we learned last time what a fandom was, so now we we understand hey. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're, we're slow. We're not that slow. Well, we are. So okay. So now, Rachel, you have God knows what you have. So, so what do you I mean, have? What's yours? Thing. It's the fandom. I just use different parts of. It. So I'm an ID, right? Or an ID <laughs> for the one of the solo artists that was part of Icon, which is the Con for Iconic. Right, and then the baby is for Monster X, which their fandom is called Mon Baby. So it's okay. ID, Iconic, and Mon Baby. Sure, and I'm sure yeah. that anybody that saw that before you said that knew that if they were into K-pop, right? If they were into these groups in the K-pop and they're part of the fandom, they know. Okay, so and th and this is something that you use to it's a bit like a you know a unique email address or something. This is a a tag that you use. When you're communicating with each other or through other people with the same combination names? On Twitter, if you put hashtag um, iconic or hashtag ID, then you will come up. All the fandoms will come up. You'll get all the threads. And then you kind of follow each other and chat with each other and you become friends. Yeah. yeah. So, but is that, I, is I, that, I have not. Is that, ID, <laughs> is, that ID, is that name unique to you then, Rachel? That's what I... That's... No. I'm okay. sure there would be other people with the same um, ID combination. Handle. So, so basically, the cool thing is later when the lawsuit comes, we can't be blamed for it. Okay. This, this so. isn't like a handle. This is just <laughs> right. to show that I'm a iconic. I am an ID. Gotcha. So, like it's not personal. It's more like a like a 
It's kind of like branding. No, gotcha. You're helping them brand. So now, yeah. while you're in Korea, will you see a K-pop concert? I mean, you're there. Yeah, it's it's okay. it's flying your flag or showing your color or whatever. Is gotcha. So yeah, Vicky now, did go to a K-pop concert. Have you gone to one in Korea yet? I have. On this trip. Yes. Okay, and are you going to another one before you leave? Um, I'm gonna go to a musical. You mean like a Broadway show? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate myself after I ask this, I already know. Like a Broadway show or a musical that just has a bunch of K-pop guys singing and dancing? Kind of, so it's, it's <laughs> track. It's, uh, 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 and are you, Vicky, it. can I ask you, are you a politician by trade? Because yeah, really. <laughs> you, there's an election coming up here in 2024. You might've read about it in the paper, you should run. So. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, no, kind of. Um, of. I'm, I asked her right away when I saw that it, it was happening. I was like, "Are you going? You have to go because it's her bias." Yes, my okay, bias. Wait, wait, wait. Let's let, let's get back to the musical. Yeah, the, the, the so, musical. so tell me, uh, so is a musical a concert or is it a like you know? I hear musical. What, I think I'm going to Broadway. That's answer A. Broadway show, Dracula. That's just playing here with Korean um, singers and actors. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're going to see Dracula, the mm -hmm. musical. Mm -hmm. Because that's a cheery. Oh, that's cheery. Sure. When I went to but Transylvania, they love that. The K pop so. artist is starring yeah. in it. Oh, well, of course he is. Uh, yeah. Because why would you go? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I mean, Bram Stoker knew that straight away, didn't he? he thought, yeah. Yeah, I think he knew when he wrote it. Yeah. As soon as, soon as well, I write the book, I'm going to have to have a Korean guy sing a song in it. But there you go. Exactly. exactly. Of course. He would yeah. love exporting his music all, and his book all over the world. It's like. Like they are so so well, is it getting uh, is it getting good reviews? That's what I want to know. It like is it, yet. Oh, so you're like opening night? Um, no, not opening night, but I think opening night is like the fifteenth or something. Okay. Going at the end of the month, but I did go to a concert in Daegu. It was actually um a festival, a, a college festival. So I saw about eight or nine groups. Wow. Um, you yeah. Mean, right. In the, in the pouring rain and. Yeah. Uh, What's interesting True is fan. she yeah. met you went with a friend from a completely different country than they had met through K-pop. So yeah. very nice. Yeah, I had a friend um, I met through Monster X. Well, actually, no, it was through Icon first online, and uh, we've been friends online for years. And she came from Germany and joined me here, and we went to the show together. And yeah, we met in real life too. So. <laughs> So look at that. Not only are you an avatar, but you can actually see people in the physical form. That's very yeah, cool. Real so friends. I'm, I'm real friends. I see that. I'm every, I want to hear all about the Dracula show now when it's done. And the only reason I say that, because when I was in New York a couple of weeks ago, we saw a music man with Hugh Jackman. Uh -huh. And we walked at, we, at intermission. We didn't come back. That's how bad it was. So, really? and yeah, I was like, you know, you did really good when you played Peter Allen, but yeah, you're not doing Jackman good music. Jackman wasn't great. Yeah, you, no, he sucked. As one of my friends said, he and you'll have to pardon my vernacular here. This is a New York thing. He, he said as we left at halftime or halftime, you can see where my mind is. As you left during intermission, he goes, "This guy sucks cock," and I'm like, "Yep, we're leaving." And it was like, and he was like, he didn't nothing. It was sort of like, dude, you just don't do it. Don't do this. Go get somebody else. So wow. it wasn't. Yeah, it was very bad, very disappointing because everyone's like, "Oh, he's a great." I remember him from you guys are too young for the '90s, but when he did Peter Allen, when he played that on Broadway before he had a body, when he's just uh -huh. a big blub, you know, and he can actually sing and dance. And then with Music Man, I was like, "Oh, you baby, I liked you right up until then." Hugh Jackman so, yeah. wasn't always jacked. No, Hugh Jackman w looked like uh, David. Um, so yeah, and then he got the, he got the, no, it's true. It's, I've seen pictures of them both naked. It's not pleasant, but yeah, yes. Um, so you, Jackman, uh, well, well, in the 90s. I hope, that's, I hope that's a compliment. It is a compliment. Um, okay. but in the 90s. I, 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 was, you, I was wondering if it was a compliment. It was a compliment. And you and your platform shoes. And that's a visual that now I will never get out of my mind. Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, and, and, and of course the makeup as well, you know. The, the makeup, yes. The, but the yeah, I'm not even going to go down that route. So, yeah. no, <laughs> but no, you, Jackman, in the 90s played Peter Allen and he did a musical on Broadway and he was just like a normal guy. Um, and when I remember he became whatever Wolverine and then they were like, you know, you need to work out. And so that's how you Jackman to your point became jacked. The flip to that is, is if you go the big bang, um, I can't remember the guy who played Raji, right? He, be he was nothing. He had a normal body and then he became a Marvel superstar and they made him go work out. Now he's all jacked up for whatever he's doing in the Marvel world. Okay. Same with like any actor in the Marvel world, apparently you have to be jacked up. 
Huh. Oh, well, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to that then. Well, well you, my friend, I, you should be a star already. I don't understand. Yeah, what I'm, that, so. I've, I've never met this Jack guy, so I'm going to be interested to speak you to him. Well, you, yeah, you know who they, Jack is. If they allow cameras, I do need to see clips and footage when you go. Yeah, to but, yeah but, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I haven't met this guy, Jack. I mean, if, you know, everybody's you, talking you know about who Jack. Jackman is, right? No, you're yes. talking about jacked up. I mean, I hope don't know. Is, oh, that a, is, that a, is that a is that a curry or something? Or, or yeah, it is a curry. David's next uh, show, with Rachel. will do his we'll do it without a shirt on for you. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So then you can see. Yeah, that I'm, he makes I'm, you Jackman. I'm, like I'm ripped. I'm ripped. <laughs> honestly. Yeah. I'm, I'm ripped. He, yeah. Yeah. He ripped his pants the other day. He bent down. I know. It's one of these yeah. things that happens. So yeah, we're good. So, so back to Kate. Back to the festival. It's a life, lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> who was your favorite? Who would, who did you think did the best of eight groups or nine groups that you saw? Psy. Of course. Of course. Psy. Of course. <laughs> Wait, is that the guy who did Gunsum style Gundam back twenty style. years? Ago? I love that guy. Yeah. And he's the only agency himself now, okay. but he still makes his own music. So right. I'm not surprised he was great. Is and he somebody that's important if some guy was on? Oh, the, yeah. Even I know who he is. Is there some, is this thing called the internet or something? I'm supposed to be interested. <laughs> I've, I've yeah, no I think his Gangnam style um, music video. Has a billion, a billion views. Broke. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, so. okay. Well, let's hope David, do, you really not, do you really not know Gangnam style? Do you not know who Psych is? I'm just asking. Um, it's it's uh, bad that I know who he is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, what to okay, we'll send you. We'll send it to you. So you we're going to send you. A, we're going to send you the video. It's basically, he's got three songs that made him Gondam style and some others. Yeah, I, I may, I, it may have passed through my brain at some stage or another, but obviously it was of no value, so I don't remember it. I mean, everybody was doing his dance. Was, yep. Yeah, he was on every seen, talk show. Have you seen me? Everything. Have you seen me dance? We no. might have to. Hey. We have to see you dance, and you'll have to do it without your shirt on, apparently, because now yeah. Rachel's all excited hey, about that. That'll know. be our next show. We'll get Roll to be involved, too. If, you, if you've seen a drunk <laughs> uncle, that's me. You know, that's... Uh... I'll be, I'll be. Yeah, I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> when, let's look at it this way. When pink elephants get drunk, they see David. That's how you have to yeah. look at it. So there you go. So, But no, that's very cool. Yeah, so I like him. So, And I didn't know he oh, was still you, performing. Steve. No, I like you. Yeah, I love oh. you because you're like you're like my son. I never had. Um, and then um, for Cy, though, I, I've watched his stuff. I went back about a month ago. I watched some of his videos because I just wanted his music because I enjoy it. So. Yeah, not only was he just you know still performing, but like he closed the show and he it was pouring rain. We were all miserable, and he's just like, let's just make this a party. And we were just had a blast at that point. We were all in. Like like Rachel see my videos. It's like right. <laughs> it's, we we haven't seen. It. We need videos. We but, need to see videos. Okay, I'll send you videos. But and we will post them so people can see them. Yeah, he, he blew them all out of the water, so good for him. Yeah. No, I, I've seen his – there was a live concert he had on YouTube mm -hmm. a couple months ago when I was just, like, surfing because I had nothing to do at 2 o'clock in the morning. I was like, oh, and I turned it on, and it was him. And I was like, I'm going to watch – and I watched his concert. Yes, it's all three and K-pop stand. Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> and, then, and then all of a sudden – it's like for two hours, and I was like, "This guy is like phenomenal," mm -hmm. and, it, and 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 he is. Yeah. He's got girls dancing. He's got guys dancing. He had an elephant dancing, but I mean, it, and it was raining. And his video as well was pouring rain, so he must only perform in the pouring rain. Yeah, maybe. So, but it was no. it was well, awesome. I I like his like, stuff. Um, the the wet water, concert, water, water bomb <laughs> concert. They called it. Yeah, water water bomb. Bomb. yeah but he's, he's phenomenal. Big, like um fire hoses and like yeah oh no no no. this wasn't the fire hoses this was literally coming oh, down in buckets raining. from okay. yeah yeah from the clouds above not the man-made stuff like your concert but yeah he was great i just he just kept going and then like nothing stops him and i'm just like this guy's awesome like he's one of those guys that's like you just watch him and you want to go out and like climb mount everest type of thing because he's that's, always that's, you know because he's such a it's all bts right <laughs> Not. And I don't have anything against BTS, but I'm not a BTS fan. And, you know, right. you've got everything from Psy to, like, you know, ballad singers to, um, you know, groups to individuals to all that kind of stuff. And so it's not necessarily, you know, people say, oh, you're a K-pop fan. It's like, well, they immediately think, you know, Blackpink, BTS or whatever. But there's a right. whole there's a whole gamut that you can run of different music. And that's one thing about with Rachel. She's like, I don't know if I'm into this kind of new generation of k-pop because a lot of it is manufactured kind of sound or whatever but right. she 
just to find like this one group that I got her into, they write their own music and they produce their own music and they, you know, that kind of stuff. So there's, there's something for everybody out there. It's, it's a lot more varied than people think it is. Right. I'm just still shocked that David doesn't know who Sai is, and I do. I'm a bit concerned that you told me last time we spoke there wasn't a beach in Austin, and now you're telling me you go out surfing at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm, <laughs> well, you know, guys, these I'm, things happen, David. That's what Scotch and Cigars are for. You surf with Scotch yeah. and Cigars. I surf only in the best best company, so that's why. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, so. no, I'm, I'm excited because I was saying – Sai, he's so yeah. he's such a great performer. He's right. dedicated. He's um, nothing stops him. But he owns an agency, and I believe he probably expects the same from his artists. <laughs> so, okay, which is you know a lot of these agencies they do expect a lot from these groups. So right. it's, well, it's interesting that he's called Sai because that's actually the Dutch word for boring. But there you go. <laughs> wow. Now this guy's anything. He's definitely not boring, David. If you I, if you look him up on the video, just look up Gangnam Style. Yeah, um, that's well, the I, video I, that, I, that made him I don't want, I don't want to be doing anything with the word style in it because last it's, time it got me it got it, me into trouble. So Gangnam okay. is a uh, area in Korea known for you know being very for style rich obviously. and having style and fashion and yeah. all that stuff. So he made a song yeah. called Gangnam Style for okay after the all city. Right. Yeah, well, we're, 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 we're waiting Oscar, for Austin Oscar style reason. that Stephen's going to do. That'll Austin style? Yeah. Austin uh, style. Yeah, but this is just still a place when husband and wife divorce that they're still brother and sister. So uh, I don't know yet. Um, yeah, you know, <laughs> two, two heads and six fingers. But, uh, there you I go. Mean, yeah. Again, you'd be surprised the kind of people that K-pop draws in. I was at a pop-up market or farmer's market last weekend, and I had someone come up, and he was an older gentleman. Um, and he was She's talking about his... I'm sorry. I said you're being polite, but go ahead. No, well, yeah. he was saying how his daughter. Well, she was, she was going to say old to... fart, I think. But then... <laughs> I know, really. He could barely right. walk. He had an yeah. oxygen tank. Wait, yeah. He's a priest, so I'm not going to make fun of him. He's a priest? Oh, I got priest. I got a hundred jokes there. Hold on. Number one. So, no. he, he was a priest and he came with his daughter? Well, no, what? he came without his daughter because the oh. farmer's market is at his church. It's in the parking lot of his church. Yeah, this right. isn't going well for the priest right now. <laughs> how, 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 can the, how can he be? He's, he's, he's an Episcopalian priest. Oh, that's can, like can, being a oh, Moravian. That's like Catholic light. That's not even yeah. like being a priest. He just wears a dog collar for attention. We're good. So he didn't okay. have his, you know, priest uniform. I had no idea until the end. So we were talking. He was talking about his daughter. He bought oh. a lot of rice bowls and kimchi from me. And sure. You know, he bought two gram Korean grammar books, he said, because he's going to Korea next year with his family. Right. Because um, his daughter got him into, into K-pop and K-dramas. And he okay. was saying all these different, you know, new generation K-pop groups. And I'm just like, I have right. no idea who they are. I've heard, I think I've heard. He's like, are you into uh, ESPA? Are you into? I'm like, no. <laughs> I, I, oh, she apparently like, Victoria oh, is because okay, she okay. knows all the. I this is the McDonald's one. Vogue. I feel like we're voguing now. So, I so we, had a, a popular song where the dance they do a dance move like that or something. So, so now like I do Indian know. Dance. Okay. okay. Um, so so just, I want to get I want to get back to the priest. So there's a priest that's married but has a daughter yeah. and he's into K-pop, which is pretty much all boys. So I know this makes a lot of sense. Okay, I got well, it. I, right. It's more bonding. So like again, when um Rolls that doesn't help on, either. his daughter so, is into K-pop too. Right, right. So it's um and then K dramas. Right, right. You guys need to give it a chance. K-drama? Oh, well, the priest certainly did, that's for sure. I apparently look at the priest. Now he's yeah. taking the whole family there. It God is, knows what will um, happen It draws you in because, again, it's not just about the music or the people. It draws you into the culture. And then okay. you get very interested in the food. And you get very interested into the whole, you know, um, just like family dynamics and um, – all the different well, cities that you see on these shows. and So I have a question, oh. though. I, I like Korea. I like food from Asia, right? Because I've been there and done enough deals and lived there for a while. So I like all that. But I didn't have to get into K-pop and then see they're coming in front of me right now because of the priest. Um, so, uh, but not, not everyone is interested. Back. Not everyone well, is into it yeah, on their right. own. So you, you need some sort of channel to take you into it. Um, K dramas became so popular with foreigners, and right. on K dramas, of course, you're going to see them eating Korean food. And before, right. like I said, growing up, 
people see Korean food and they're like, what are you, and you know, they got their jokes about Asian food. But now everyone appreciates it more. And they're like, well, I want to try. I'm going to try. Like I said, Vicky's tried stuff that I, I'm like, I don't know if I can try that. <laughs> well, see, when Roll is, you know, he was supposed to be here today for the people. And so he'll, when he does our next show, we're going to talk about food. And one of the big things we talk about when it comes to food and people, we talk about people that are well-traveled or people that live in big cities compared to people that aren't. So I think, and I could be wrong. But like being brought up in, in New York, I know nobody knows that. It's a shocker. But um, being from New York, I you know, you're immersed in all these cultures. Steve, Stephen's all the time. father was a priest, I think. Yes, he, he was a rabbi. Yes, we, we called him the rabbi. You used to rub him and he would grow. But anyway, um, so it's one of those things where I think depending on where you're growing up, right? So you say people in Austin, right? They're just kind of Austin's weird and cool. And I think that's how they explore. But I think if you come from like New York or LA or, Chicago or something where there's a larger population, I think you find out, you know, you go and you explore. I think to your point, people that, you know, are in the middle of nowhere for them, this is like, they can go and explore and then they can really go and explore. I think that's maybe how they get into it as well. But I think people that are well-traveled and live in a bigger metropolis are like, Oh, Korean, I've had Korean food. You know, I've had this food. Right. Cause I grew up in Philly, went to New York a lot. I lived in LA for 15 years. Right. Still a lot of people who are just like, what's that? Yeah. I'm like, you live in LA, a melting pot of yep. you only want to eat French fries and burgers, really? Yeah, we used to go to so. K-Town like three times a week. And then we used to go to Chinatown. We used to, I mean, we literally ate more Asian food than I've eaten in my entire life when I lived in LA. It was just so easy and so readily available. Mm-hmm. And this food there is delicious. And it's all authentic. And then, of course, you know, when a white guy walks in, they just laugh at us and they go, you want spicy? Okay. Um, you know, and then you drink soju or whatever. And we, it's, you know, three <laughs> hours later, you don't remember your name and you tell the guy that's cooking your food. Oh, yeah, yeah. David, and have you, you know, ever had soju? No, she's not saying a soju, a slow Jew. Oh. It's a soju. It's a drink. I'm oh, Jewish. Okay. I can say that. You can say Vicky's that, getting yeah. some soju. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, Vicky, Vicky I, I, I may, I may <laughs> well have been prescribed. There we go. There's the soju right there. I was going to say, I, I had something that was that sounded like that, but it was prescribed by the doctor and I had to sort of a cream. <laughs> there you go. Soju is actually pretty good. But after, and what happens when you go with friends, especially if they're Korean, the first, I went to a Korean barbecue with a bunch of people, and one of my buddies is like, every time you finish, they pour for you because your glass you can never be empty type of thing. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just going to have a little soju. You know, like 96 bottles later, I'm like, thank God we Ubered here. Um, <laughs> because it was just like, I was like, no, no, no more. No, no, you can't have empty. And then I wouldn't and drink, but then you. they would do a toast, and then they would drink, and you're like, okay. And then you realize it's like, you know, like the Long Island iced tea or some of these other drinks, like a rum and coke. Like you don't really – doesn't hit you till it hits you. And soju is like one of those things. It's like scotch. You can drink a bottle and about 20 minutes later, you feel it. But yes. <laughs> it's, it, yeah, soju is like you drink the little bottle and it's like the concentration to alcohol is very high. And it's like, boom. And it's like, a, is a, so it's Vicky, bad. Vicky soju, which she just took her sip of because yep. she needs it with us. <laughs> so, I'm sure. <laughs> At this point. At this point. What kind of soju? They, you can't find that here. Yes, you can. Oh, no. I went to a Korean market here in Austin and they have not, soju. Not, not her soju. Oh, oh, no, not that soju. No. It's well, soju. No, well, it's I don't. Uh, soju. Yeah. Is that? Well, I don't, and it's not, that? I don't think there's going to be a lot of that left over when she comes back to the U.S. <laughs> it's yeah. mint chocolate flavored soju. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. why. See, there oh, is that's a store okay, or okay. something dedicated to mint chocolate everything that she went right. to. And do you get that? Do you get that with a drip as well? You can put it just straight into your arm and uh, yeah. intravenously. I like that. Yeah. So we're going to do a whole show on Korean food and soju next time. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> I'll be drinking yeah. scotch during the show, but no, 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 no. It'll be perfect. You know, going back to the K-pop, I did. Add, yes. I have another friend that I went to one of the concerts. Wait, with. wait, wait! Stop! This is a newsflash. You have two friends. I well, do. excuse me. I'm going to have to make a note. Rachel I, has two friends. I don't so. like to have a lot of friends. So I don't have any more friends. than I wanted. But. Uh, well, dude, dude, I'm I'm like your friend. I mean, you you mean that yeah, sends but, me five dollars a week to be your friend, but I, I'm your friend. Yeah, so. um, yeah. I mean, do you do you actually exist? That's because I'm that you know you're all virtual. So there you go. This is just the say, matrix. There you go. It's yeah. the Thursday hypothesis. I mean, in Austin, you wouldn't know. I mean, it's not like I guess I could. He could be. Well, the way I'm looking at it now, he lives upstairs from you. 
Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we, we actually, we stop banging on the roof. I created stop that. Noise. Stop that noise. Yeah, she just created. This is an avatar. We just created these AI avatars. That I created to pretend she's in Korea. She doesn't really exist. So. That's right. Other than that, we've seen her on your TikTok page. I'm around and show you my view, but I don't know. See, Victoria, how we know you really exist is because we went to Rachel's. We won't name the company because of this kind of whole conversation, but the TikTok page and you guys are, it's the very first TikTok that they did. And it says how you start a CPG company. And it's these two. By the Vicky's way. in there with me. And like Vicky's I said, Vicky there. created my design, my label or my, yep. um, what's it called? Logo. Wow. <laughs> the logo. <laughs> two, both. But. Which is, which Steven is a hand heart. I, I know, but I'm still learning, and that's why we're all going to get together, and we're going to do yeah, because she's a professional, yeah. and I, you're lucky I got this part down, okay? So <laughs> you're lucky I mean, we I, got I, that. I, I, if I was doing that, it looked like I got arthritis. So, so you guys, yeah. have, you're, you gotta put your thumbs down. Yeah. I got my thumb, and then, is that it? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, so, I'll, 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 cheeks. Okay. Listen, this every is time, <laughs> okay, every time I do this, it just looks. Vile, and then I'm like, yeah, little yeah. kids watching this are gonna go, mommy, mommy, what's he doing? They'll be like, don't watch. So that's, that's not Steven, good for the should, kids. You shouldn't be doing that. It's destroying your New York reputation. That's why I said this is my New York reputation. Yeah, good. To be to be nice, you know, that's just not I part know. of you, Steve. Listen, I, I helped an old lady down the stairs. I pushed her. We're good. So I did yeah. my nice thing for the day. So yeah. we have our oh, this, K-pop. Oh, it's okay this as is, long as she bounces at the bottom, you know. They you all bounce. Her up, That's you can pick thing. her up and do it again, you know. That's of course. Six flights. I've been yeah. to David's home country. Like, I've been to the UK. I went to okay. the culture. Oh, I watched BBC and I watched Pride and Prejudice. And I ate horrible food when I was there. <laughs> I, I, loved, I, loved, I loved the UK so much. I left it 35 years ago. <laughs> and, and there's an Amsterdam now because of it. Right. So. A boring place because he knew he had to go where his people were. Yeah. <laughs> well, Korea is not boring. Like when we lived there and we did deals there in the in the late nineties, early two thousands, it was always exciting. And especially our driver, he used to drive on the sidewalks. And now I understand they have barriers on the sidewalks, so they can't do that because he'd be like, "Traffic's too busy." And I'm like, "We can wait." He goes, "No, no, we'll go on the sidewalk." Yeah. Motorcyclists do all the delivery trucks have been driving on yeah. the sidewalk. Korea is for for anyone who's never been, including the priest, and we know why he's going. But anyway, anybody who's never been, Korea is a wonderful, wonderful country, and the food is phenomenal. And if you it immerse really yourself, doesn't sleep. Korea really yeah, doesn't. You know how doesn't. New York is a city that doesn't sleep. Korea really doesn't sleep. Doesn't sleep. Yeah, and, but the food, the people, the food. I never had a bad experience anytime I was there. Everyone's always pleasant, and even if you can't speak the language, they make an effort to try to you know point you in the right direction. So I would go back to Korea in a heartbeat. But there's, you know, some legal things that because of Samsung. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so. I'm going to quickly read off my friend, Sonia, who went to the. Oh, she that's right. She has questions for us. So I had asked her what drew her into K-pop originally. Right. And what keeps her in K-pop. And she said, my love for K-pop just kind of happened. I was around 11 and started watching Korean shows and dramas. Again, I think that's a gateway into K-pop as well, watching Korean shows. Right. Um, and which her mother rented weekly, which uh, my dad used to own a Korean video store. So people would come in and rent Korean dramas from him weekly. Um, I got to watch them all for free. Uh <laughs> <laughs> She's very happy about that. You know, the Asians and Jews there. are the same. I had, I had so there. Yeah. Oh, but, um, there go. And then she said, um, pretty sure it's all started without uh, with a game show where two hunky guests came on. <laughs> right. When well, hunky's yeah. supposed to be a hot guy. Yeah, um, okay. and one guest was a singer, and the other okay. was a singer actor, and that led her to watching these music show called Inky Guile. I grew up on Inky Guile and Music Bank, and I think they're still around. I think Inky Guile is still um, all the K-pop artists still go on Inky Guile, and okay. so that's where she was introduced to other singers and groups, and that's what happened. And then she got out of K-pop. She and I kind of are the similar. After high school, she got out of K-pop too. And life happened, and so many uh, groups were debuting that made her head spin. And then recently, she started listening to it again after last year, Blackpink, which is one of like the biggest girl K-pop groups, like BTS. Sure. Yeah. Um, they had a documer documentary on Netflix. I haven't seen it. I didn't know there was one, but they had yeah. a documentary. And that her daughter heard it. Her young okay. daughter heard it, and she's um, and her daughter got hooked. She's like, ah, oh. which you'll. My niece, who's seven or, or 
I guess from five or four or five years old, she heard BTS and was hooked on BTS and Blackpink right. as well because the music is catchy. And so after that, you know, she came across other singers and other groups and that brought her back into it. And it also helps her learn Korean, okay. her daughter to learn Korean. It's bonding with her daughter. And um, in the same way that she learned Korean, her daughter can learn Korean as well. So, and she thinks that Cape... Um, Plus, I think it just makes me happy to see the K-pop phenomenon continue after so many years. So it's like the same sentiment that I have because I grew up with it. You don't know that it's going to blow up and um, to the point that it has and that it still has and people are appreciating it and loving it and enjoying it. It's just like, ah, yes, thank you. Thank you for still being what it is, but even more now. So. So that's that. <laughs> that's very cool. And I like the way that you, I will say this. I, mean, I know we busted both your chops today because, you know, that's what we don't get paid for. Um, but <laughs> the passion you guys speak about it with, it's not for you because you're Korean and it's, it's, it's not just a national pride. It's a whole thing. But Victoria speaks about it with the same kind of passion. And I think that is like un the unification that I think it would bring, like what the music is supposed to bring. Um, you know, there was an article that we sent out before the show about, what FT said that Taylor Swift would be the could be the possibly the last big mega star, and we're kind of like no, nah, probably not. I mean, it'll be it can be someone else, but it'll take ten or twenty years. But K-pop, I think, is making up for that. But because if you will, North America doesn't really know K-pop like the rest of the world. I they don't look at it that way, and I think that's interesting because I'm assuming there's bigger stars than Taylor Swift that are in K-pop. Yeah, I mean it's it's a business, yeah. you know, no mistake. Like. Uh, it is a machine that knows exactly how to reach into young women and men's pockets and get the most out of it. And they're and priests. product. Yeah. They're not there to, you know, baby them or help them or right. cater to them or whatever. They are a thing to these companies and they sell that thing. And so, you know, there's a lot of downsides to it and dark sides to it and it's it is a it is a giant machine here that is very well oiled and they know what they're doing and they're exploring it now and that's i think that they don't really have that sort of maybe back in the 20s and 30s where they had the studios or mgm and that that's right. kind of an equivalent to it where they had their bank of stars and they turned out these movies and it was kind of the old studio that. system no and you yeah. belong to these studios you belong to these agencies and they take right. a cut of everything oh i'm sure and there's like what seven sometimes you have seven eight nine members in a group so you have right. to and you have to pay off like we talked about the trainees so you have to pay right. off your debt to them right so it's yeah so you this, have to you know, you're naive about it it's it's a business but at right. the same time you know for us it brings us that enjoyment and that yep. sort of you know belonging or whatever that you kind of don't get in the u.s markets or you know, that Taylor has her Swifties, which, you right. know, is kind of that thing, but it's, it's sort of her, right? It's not like a big, you know, where you have all these fandoms here and you have all these right. kind of choices and things and it's, it is a big business. And so, um, but you know, um, you, can, you, can, you can take a break when she wants to take a break in a sense. Right, right. And right. with, so with K-pop, they can't, they just run you until they're ready for you to take a break because of whatever, or military mm -hmm. service, like I guess BTS right. is doing or something. Got right. But but I think I said I'm just fascinated, and I think that when you showed us like the fan book, that that's I've if, if people were here in the states were smart, like you know, and or Universal or Sony Music, I would be making those fan books left and right because that would draw people. I mean, I know we busted the chops about, you know, there's a negative and there's some pictures and blah blah blah, and you have now a scrapbook small too. So, so yeah, but but I'm just yeah, saying I'm, though, I mean, they don't do that. No, exactly. And don't we wish that we were doing it? That's that's the thing. Yeah, okay, they yeah, would do I it here. It. We're all going to go to Korea in a year and we're going to go to all the K-pop concerts. Okay. Well, you, I want to see, I want to see Psy. That's that. it. Other than I'm that, up. you take me wherever you want, but that's my one I'm request. Up. If we I'm go, up. I got to see Psy. Psy's touring schedule. If he's here in Austin, you're, you and I are going. I, I will go with you. I will go see Psy. I'm all for it. His English is amazing. And so he's out there talking to him because the university crowd was like half foreigners when we were there. Right. And so he, like talking to us, so he might come to Austin. You never know. Like, I think if he, he comes anywhere in Texas, York, so. if well, if he plays in New York, I go back and forth. So New York is easy. But if he oh. comes to Texas, we'll go see him in Texas, and yeah. we'll record. We'll record it and do a live broadcast right before the show. <laughs> so, and and then we'll get Rachel. We'll wear her really big platform shoes, 
um, and then I mean, and, Victor and Victoria will just hold her up like, come on, you can do it. So, and I'm going to wear platform shoes with goldfish in them just to prove that they have goldfish. Just to prove you, they you YouTube yeah. that. There you go. Well, you Ladies, can't wear platforms yeah. next to me. You guys can't be like giants next to me. Uh, yeah, but that's right. So you were with your. But let me ask you this: with these combat boots, what? How? What's? How many inches are those? Um, about two and a half, three. So it just gives. Oh, me goody! You, you'll be so, all of five, three and a half. Know, they, I'm still six. I'm still six like one. Five, five, but yeah, it's still. They might make me five four, five five. Okay, it's great. I'm still. I'm still six one. So it'd be like. Look, I have my daughter. We're going to a concert. It'll be great. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I feel like that all the time with my ex. My ex is six two, and I'm like, oh, I'm a child. The good thing with it, when the, the good thing with that is when you go to the movies, get them for the kitty price. <laughs> Children meal at restaurants. Oh yeah, I'm like I said, Jews and Asians cost less. So Who knows? Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> my friends, my friend's wife is about your age and about your height. And she will laugh and go, I just bought these whatever shoes from Louis Vuitton or Gucci or whatever. But she says, I got them in the kids section and they're like 80 bucks. And for women in the adult section, they're 800. So she, she's got feet like, you know, like nothing. And I always laugh because you see these shoes, I, I don't want to hear it. And yeah. she literally that, buys shoes for nothing. That's a different topic. That's a whole yeah. different, that's yeah. a whole different thing. Victoria, I see you downing your soju because off camera. So I'm going to let you down your soju. Yeah, like, it's time for bed. So we're going to say thank you for everybody. You guys stay yeah, with us when we end it. But this was awesome. We're glad you thank both you. were able to join us. Um, and this will, I think, air November 15th. So, yeah, yeah be very and, cool. And thank you, ladies, for, you know. You guys are great. That putting putting the lights on for, for K-pop. Oh, that's, cool. that's wrong on so many levels as well. well. Yay. See everybody soon. Cheers.